Preemptive Love Coalition is a community of peacemakers that works around the world trying to provide front lines responses to the people who need it most and trying to respond in those areas with tangible acts of love. My name is Jeremy Courtney and I am the founder and executive director of the Preemptive Love Coalition. My wife Jessica and I met in college uh, and really forged our relationship through passion events. We were part of this small little community that was really shaped in the way of passion, the way of trying to live a life of sacrifice to the glory of God and for the good of others. We moved to Iraq in the middle of the Iraq war then as a, a continued outcropping of this love and of this following Jesus. There is still this baseline assumption that it's, it's crazy to live in these places. This is something that we've lost in this whole conversation is we're actually called to sacrifice. We're not called to comfort. We're not called to try and protect ourselves. We're called to give it all away. So over the last now 10 years, that's the kind of movement that we've been trying to forge and, and foster is a movement of people, of peacemakers who jump forward in love to serve those who need it most. We really have two things that we're trying to do, emergency response. And the second thing we're trying to do is long-term empowerment. When, when we talk about our work from meeting people in their most dire time of need, I think of a community of women that we've been working with led by a woman named Goze. Her family had just been driven out of their homeland by ISIS, and we met them right in that moment on the run from this terror group. And my wife, Jessica, entered into this community, and she said, we don't want to just give you food, we will, but we want to help you start making money for yourself. Goze was willing, she comes from a more dignified place, and she wanted to get back to that dignity. And so my wife said, well, I want to teach you how to do some kind of trade that you can start selling a product and making money for your family. So she taught her how to make soap. And it comes time to pay her for a bunch of this soap product that she's been making. And my wife puts in her hands more money than she's had in her entire life. She's able to put her kids back in school, put food on the table, put clothes on their back. We're seeing this family come alive again, moving from death back to life, moving from mourning into gladness. These people need the church. They need the followers of Jesus. They need anyone and everyone who would dare to come to their aid to show up. I see resurrection all around us. It doesn't happen the way I thought it would. It doesn't always look the way I thought it would look. But resurrection is resurrection. Life will not be denied. God's love will not be denied and resurrection is happening all over. These places where we from afar only seem to see death and destruction. It's not all there is to it. There's a lot more to the story.